Good morning, good morning. We still have 20 minutes till it's afternoon. It's the morning. All right. <clears throat> this is Lori from the Pink Girly Channel. This is going to be a live stream, hopefully with some live guests. And as usual, I'm running a little behind my schedule. I uh, had to have a little sip. I just grabbed a little bite to eat. I had no internet service earlier today. My phone wasn't working. My house, my landline wasn't working. And I thought, well, I guess I won't be streaming today. But then it popped back on. My neighbor called and she was having difficulty. So it must have been a neighborhood wide thing. So, I'm going to see if I can find myself on my phone. That always seems to be find a little helpful. So, I was trying to decide what I might do today. I've got plenty of stuff to do. I've got um, eh, kind of deadline thingies sitting sitting on that back burner and it's tax time <sighs> i'm not very good at that girls so i've got a earmark riri good morning good morning it's very gray and rainy here so of course i've been thinking gray skies are gonna clear up put on a Happy face. I took a, a ride over to um, a place near me. I don't really know what you call it. I mean, it has a business name, A&W something. It's not the root beer people. They go in and they clear out estate sales, you know, like every after the family's been there and they have the sale or whatever. They're like basically junkers. <clears throat> and then they sell stuff for really cheap. So I wanted to show you a few things I got there. This I got on um, Good Morning Deb. Good morning, Deb Schuler. This I got on Amazon. You know how you like you're surfing around, you might be looking for a particular thing, and then they always put you might like this. Oh my gosh, I'm such a sucker. Anyway, this is a little journal. But look at the inside pages. They're like already decorated for you. And I was wanting to do a journal about my trip to Europe with my son. You know, obviously not a, hey, good morning, Marty. Not an everyday, you know, catalog something. But I think with some of the pictures and some other things, you know, this might be a good way for me to remember our trip. He took a lot more pictures than me, so I'll have to have him send me a file. And I just got um, that little printer thing that uh, Kathy Berg enabled me to get. She's an enabler. It's this uh, pulley. I guess you say pulley. So I haven't looked at it yet. I don't know how it works. But see, I should be able to print pictures and then little word tags to do a little travel journal there for my trip. So I'm excited about that. So that's another project. Okay. Just what we need, another project. And so at the, uh, good morning to everybody coming in. Hi, Sherry, nice to see you. For those of you who were at the uh, virtual craft vendors market this weekend, Keisha's had some of us up very late. I didn't go to bed till, hmm, I guess four. I did not on and off towards the end. But then once I wake up at four, I'm awake for a couple hours. So I finally fell back asleep at six. Yes. 
So I found this coaster. I love everything. Europe, Paris, France, you know, all that jazz. I just love it. So look at this cool coaster. It's got the Eiffel Tower. So that's for my desk. Then I found these two old books. Now they have a lot of books, but a lot of them are current. And of course, these are in very bad shape. <clears throat> but that's okay. Oh, look, I didn't even know that that said Europe there. Carpenter's Geographical Reader. I just saw the old pages. Let's see if it says here. Copyright 1902 by Frank G. Carpenter. And the pages are stitched. And the pages don't feel like they're in too bad a shape. So I thought, well, wouldn't they be yummy for a journal, huh? 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 So I should be able to get a fair amount out of that. So I thought that was Coolio. I mean, I think the, uh, well, that's kind of neat on the back. Maybe I, can you see that? It's like a little uh, um, impression stamp on the back. Dixie Doodle, good morning. Good morning, good morning. So I think I'll use those pages. And then I saw this, The Little Lame Prince, The Adventures of a Brownie. Let's see what this one says. This one looks, of course, newer. Copyright 1928. I don't see where it has other printings, but I guess there probably were, you know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But I thought these were cool looking pages, too, with a bigger font. And that's stitched, too. So I should be able to get some cool pages out of this for a journal. And these are um, the other pages in the other book feel like they have a little bit of a gloss to them. But these are really nice. These probably actually would take some coffee very nicely. I've been in this place a couple of times, but I didn't notice before on the counter they had some uh, postcards. And they were a little pricey, I thought, for that place. But I thought I'll just pick myself out a couple and um, see if there's anything in that in the box that I, you know, can't live without. So one thing I saw was this, an American Red Cross card from 1983. And I thought that might look cute, tucked in a pocket of a journal. Pick that up. And then some of these, I have never seen the likes of them before. Not that I'm an expert. But I got this one, of course, Christmas. And the back, 1920. But the handwriting was, it's kind of cool on this one. Right? So I got that. And then this one. This one's got a little bend in it. But I got this again for the handwriting. Let's see if I can get it to... Can you see? It just, uh, I think some days I'm really good at, there we go. Sweet spot. Isn't that cool handwriting? Look at that. Christmas 21. So took that one. Now these, I had never seen these before. And there's, of course, no date on these. But this is a quarterly attendance report for Evan Crook or Croak, C R O A K. I'm not sure. There's no date on the back. But you got all this little stars in the primary department. Okay, there's two here from the beginner's department. Oh, nope, I got three, three of those. So I've got January, February, March, April, May, June.
saying good morning brenda and we're back good morning brenda so i thought these were cool huh they will look cute tucked in a journal too so i got those i mean i need another postcard like i need a hole in the head <clears throat> but then look at this this one this is made in germany i don't see a date but this one's got a little remembrance book or like a little it's not like a it's not a bible but it says remembrance what's this say down here this oh it's the postcard mark has bled through to the front of the card and this says a simple little wish but true and kind god send you joy of heart and peace of mind Although I never saw a postcard like that with a little book on the front. The little doves. I'm trying to watch. There's a, there's a lag, so I'm trying to watch on my phone what you're actually seeing. And then there's this one. Birthday wishes. Again. Um, with something love from Papa. I don't know what that I don't know what that word is supposed to be. With something love from Papa. Printed in Germany. <clears throat> this is embossed, like on the side here. It feels emb it's embossed. But look at this. How pretty is that? Best love, maybe it look. It looks like it could be best, Dixie. I don't know. It stuck pretty well. It sure looks like it belongs on there, Beth. Anywho, thought it was cool, and this one, you know, it's got the cutouts there. I think that's beautiful. So. You got a little bit of ribbon here. So I was thrilled with that. And then I looked at this item and I picked it up and then I passed it by. I walked away and I kept thinking about it. This is so kind of ugly that it's cute to me. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I just went back and got it. Oh, I could so do that, Deb. If I could get down on the floor. Well, I could probably get down. I just couldn't get up. But digging through cards and buttons and stuff like that, I could spend hours for real. For real. This is not marked... Of course, this, you know, would make it look like it's, you know, really not that old. I can't tell. It's not, they're not ceramic. I, I don't know what they are, but I think they're, okay, I think they're adorable. And I can't say that looks like my hubby and I, because this, the hubby would have to be tall and thin. We look like the number 10, tall and thin, and I'm round, okay? But I just think they're adorable, and I thought they would look cute in my room. You know, if I ever get my room straightened up here well enough to um, have a place where they can sit. <laughs> but I just think they're adorable. So that's it. Oh, it looks like the sun's coming up. Gray skies are going to clear up. Now, the last time um, I did a live, I believe, uh, I worked on my cover for my business reply, for my small, short business reply envelope. Okay, so this is where I've gotten to. Now, this button is not stitched on. I didn't want to just stitch it. 
because it's got a shank and it's heavy metal and I can't get it off. So I popped a hole there and I'm going to stitch that. And then I'm just for now, I'm going to take that off. But I was using, uh, I used stays on and stenciled. And then I went ahead and colored them in with some, um, I used some acrylic glaze. And then I used some of the, uh, what was it, primary elements uh, pigment powder. So this is what I ended up with. And then I just crazily stitched on this piece of green fabric that I like. And this was a string from an old dress of my niece's. And I had already had my signature block put together. So these are all my little baby business replies. Now I was going to use the Graphic 45 um, B collection paper. Good morning. Good morning, chicken pot pie. Nice to see you. Is it still morning? Oh, yep. We have three minutes. <clears throat> So, and I wanted to leave room so if when I stuff those pages, you know, I have room for this to still close. So it's kind of finished. I decided not to use the Graphic 45 paper. I think I might have to um, hoard that paper for a little while yet. And then, and then I'll see what's what. So. This morning, geez, I hope this works out okay if I stitch that in there so it'll kind of be flat. But I, I, I'm, a, I'm pleased with how that one turned out. All righty. So now on to today's task. We'll see how I, how I get. Many of you are familiar with a gal by the name of G. Kerr. She's got a channel on YouTube. She does wonderful, wonderful things. And one thing I saw her do years ago was envelope journal. A couple different ways. I'm sure there are many, many ways to do it. <clears throat> so I thought I might do an envelope journal today. But I don't have really have any um, coffee dyed envelopes that I would like to use. So I thought, well, let me get some coffee ready. So just a little while ago, I boiled some water, put some instant coffee in. Now you can get instant coffee at the dollar store so you don't have to spend a lot of money to do that and i'm not quite sure where i'm headed with this but i thought i'd try something a little different than what i've tried in the past so now there's a couple different ways that she's um well not her in particular but there's one way that she puts hers together and then i've seen other folks who i don't know who they are um, oh, I love G. Kerr. First of all, I love her voice. I love her little accent. So what I've done was I've just mixed up some coffee. This is still warm. So I boiled my water. I don't measure. I just dumped it in and then I just check with a spoon. I like it very dark. I might have to add some water to it. It might be too dark. But then I also put... Um, just a little bit of that boiling water in this cup with a lot a lot of coffee so this is a little thicker now i will say in the past um really kind of on accident when i was working with coffee and and dyeing paper and whatnot i know yesterday was crazy and friday too oh my goodness <clears throat> market busy and um I left some of the coffee out on my desk and then through evaporation, it got thick and sticky and I could stamp with it and do wonderful things. So I'm wondering, now this of course is not as thick, but I'm wondering if I am able to stencil or do, you know, different stuff with this. So this is my idea for today. I've got some em I've got some envelopes here. I've got my stencils and I'm just going to try a 
and see what we end up with. And then I might pull some paper and some other stuff to put in the center of these little journals. So you just have a pocket on each side. Now, one, one way that um, some folks do them, and I've done them this way too, where you just, and this can get confusing, you just stick your envelope inside of each other where the flaps are. And she may do it this way as well. I have not seen a video of hers. You know, so you have a couple different places to put things. But she does hers differently. At least the video I saw. She puts them together this way. So we'll, we'll go through that in a minute. But I'm going to, now see, I stained, I was going to do cards, I guess. I've had these for years. And so I've inked the edges, but I've got one, two, three. I've got quite a few here. So we're going to work with these first. These are an off-white color envelope. And I think I might just paint on, now this is going to get messy. It's going to get messy. Now, if you have a question for me, Barb's here now, so she can kind of maybe get my attention. But it is easier if you put a question in caps if you're trying to get my, you know, attention. So, you know what? I think I'm going to, not that this is going to make it any less messy. And I will have to use my, I'm going to put down some paper towels just to catch the extra drippage, if you will. So the, th the first thing I think I'm going to do is just paint on some. Now, if I wasn't online, all right, Bart's going to give me the old cock a doodle do, and then I'll know. Do, 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 do. Of course, Lori did not clean a space. Now, you got to be careful here because you got sticky on the flap. So, you want to be a little careful with that. So, you know, if you're going to do this, You don't want to do it and then have them close or, um, you know, stack them on top of each other because they'll stick to each other because I've just activated the glue. Now, let me just put this aside. This can be drying a little while while I'm. Now, if we do it exactly like G. Kerr does hers. You really only need two envelopes. I've got to find a place to put my little cherubs there so they don't tip over and quack. I don't want them to quack. Oh, yes, I'm going to have a mess. So I definitely want two. And then when I use the heat gun, I think I'm going to use, try to use a stencil. I, there may be some spattering. So how is everyone this Sunday morning? Oh, I think it's afternoon now. Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I fell asleep at one point. I mean, I just could not keep my eyes open during the market. Of course, I was up late Friday watching as well. That's kind of cool the way that one. Look how the um, that envelope has taken the coffee. It almost kind of makes it look like parchment paper. Huh, isn't that cool? Coolio, coolio. Yes, 
Yeah, I tried the alcohol in mine as well. They say it preserves it so you can leave it sit out, but I put mine in the fridge. And when I put alcohol in mine, it, it molded up anyway. So um, I think a lot of folks do the alcohol. So I'm just getting a base on these. And then we're going to go from there and see if we can get some additional decorating. So, everybody's doing well, I hope. Anybody have a special project going? Special plans? Today is my sister Nancy's birthday. She's double sixes. Guys are gonna clear up. I should have looked for oh faux vellum paper. Oh, didn't know you could do that. That's cool. Marvelous, wonderful. So my in our elder years, uh, my two sisters and I have decided to treat each other with a little gift for on our birthdays. And uh, my sister Nancy, she's in the middle. She's just recently, I would say within the last six months or so, it could it could be a year by now. I don't remember really. She started to um, watercolor and. I've shared that before with you guys. Watercolor and oh, maybe it's some um, picking up from the paper towel. Ugh. Eh, not really, not yet. Um, so my younger sister and I got her a set of uh, nice watercolor brushes. Yes, good question, Ray. Where did you see and how, if you want to divulge thy secrets? Anyway, the brushes, um, let me just finish this statement. We got her our squirrel hair brushes. So she's just tried them a little bit and she says they're marvelous. So now I'm wondering if I need a set. All right, so Barb is going to try later to make some faux vellum paper and re-ask the question, where did you see this and uh, how are you going to do it? I mean, are you going to share how to do it? And Barb replies and says, so simple, so simple, so simple. Just rub baby oil all over the paper, front and back. Saw a tutorial just the other day and it's so cool. Huh. And then Marty asks, what kind of paper, which is also a good question. You know, when I first started um, really getting into coloring again as an adult, I started to blend with a blending pencil, which of course I had never heard of before. But then as I did a little bit of reading here and there around the square, um, they bl some folks blend with baby oil and i was always kind of afraid to do that thinking that it would just you know make my paper slick oh oh well, i guess if shannon green maybe did it huh okay let me see i have one two three four five six let's do one more of this kind of envelope and then I want to switch to, I've got some craft colored envelopes and they're square. Which is, you know, a little bit of a different shape. Janice, Janice, good afternoon. She just opened her little peepers. Jeepers, creepers. Barb, you know, I'm thinking it. You're thinking it. Where would you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Yes, welcome to 
the madness, the crazy mind of Lori. Pink girly. All right, so I'm going to leave those sit a moment. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Now I have to remember where I momentarily set my square envelopes. And here they are. <clears throat> I love this. I love the square envelopes. I love the square cards. I have to do a card video or a card live. Make some cards. If you guys have any ideas, I should put a survey up. But you know what? I don't know how many people really um, go to my um, community page. So... All right, these are still in the little little belly bandy. Now this may not be as cute as I'm thinking it will be. Oh, that's right, she does it this way. So if I do, eh, that might be pretty cute. So now because these are craft, right? I'm just let's give a little test here. I'm not sure that's really going to do a whole lot. Um, well, I'll do two. I'm not sure that's really um, going to do a whole lot for me. All right, so we're talking about the faux vellum paper. And Jana says, uh, Dixie must have asked a question. And... Um, Jana says, Dixie, it makes the paper soft and terrible first. So easy does it. But when it's dry, it looks like see-through vellum. Then can you um, art on top of that, gals? Or does the, like, should you do arting? Like, say, should you do, like, if you want to do artwork or design work or any of that, should you do that first and then do the baby oil thing? Or can you stamp and do other stuff to the paper after the baby oil's on? Does anyone know that? Like, or does the baby oil prohibit you from anything, like, sticking to it? Oh, I was going to get a sponge. Oh, no, I'm going to use that other. Oh, I put it away. I'm going to try. I'm going to try a stencil in a moment. We'll see if this makes a difference. What a difference a day makes. 24 little hours. Yes, Dixie. Good question. Is the baby oil a resist? That's the proper way to ask that question. That's what I meant, but I didn't I didn't come up with the word resist. What a difference a day makes 24 little hours. See, girls, the sad part is, is that when I'm sitting here working by myself and thoughts come in my head, I sing out loud just like I sing. <laughs> I sing out loud. All right, so now I just painted those craft colored envelopes with just the um, thinner mixture of the coffee. Okay, so my phone, it's all right, I'm just checking to see. Welcome, welcome to everyone that's come in. So if you weren't here earlier, I made two uh, variations of coffee dye, if you will. Good afternoon, Janet Nash. I'm hoping these turn out, Janet. We'll see. So I made two different um, strengths of coffee dye, if you will. The one is very loose, like a cup of coffee. This one, I put just a little bit of my boiling water and dumped in a lot of instant coffee. 
So this, I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I'm going to try a couple of things. So I just painted the thinner coffee on two craft colored envelopes. It doesn't look like it's, it's going to, of course, do much to the coloring of the envelope. So now on this one, I'm going to use my thicker elixir, if you will. And I'm going to spatter. I'm going to see if I can spatter this. So I'm going to look for a long liner type brush, if I can find one in my massive collection of old brushes. This one should do. Now, years ago, I would spatter with uh, a fan brush. Oh, please do, Beth. Yeah, I love, love, love the business reply envelopes. And girls, if you're not saving those, like here in the United States, you get them in different kinds of mail, different junk mail. If you're not saving them and if you don't have your family members um, saving them for you, you should be because they are so fun. I mean, I have stacks of them. And um, Beth is saying that she uses watered down paints. And yes, they would, especially if you have a color theme and you wanted to pop those in. For those of you that may not have been here, I'll show you what. Last time I worked, last uh, my last live stream, I worked on the cover for this. But this has my, now these I, we don't, I don't get so much as the long number nines. I, I guess these are sixes. I'm not sure. But I'd already had, this isn't stitched on yet. But I already had my um, block of business replies stitched together. And then last live I made the cover or worked on the cover. So I'm not quite sure. I was going to use graphic 45 paper in here and change my mind. I must might just store little bits in here so I can see them through the windows. But these are coffee stained. And if, see, I like where, where they don't get completely stained too. So you have some variety. I like drippage and spritzing and spattering. And you can just let your mind go wild. You get thousands, Janice? Oh my gosh, I would be in hog heaven, girl. Woo, I'm telling you. But I got this in a lot of buttons. I thought it's just really pretty, right? It's real heavy. It goes with that. All right, so I used to, um, in my um, ceramic, oh, thanks, Dixie. In my ceramic days, I used to um, spatter with a fan brush, but that really kind of went all over. And then since I found Dee Dee and watching Dee Dee, uh, I've been using the long brush and it works very nicely. But it's more controlled, especially if you're not outside. So let's just see how this looks. Now, these are little puddles. So, of course, this is going to take a little longer to dry. Can Can you see all right? Is my camera at a good, um, at a good distance for you all? And you can go little or lots, right? Potato waffle. Mm. All right. Mm. So I'm going to move this aside. Let those dry on their own a little bit. And uh, I'm going to do a G curve style. So I want two that match. At least to some degree. Excuse my stretch. Now this one, I did get a little spatter. Did get a little spatter on that. This one, I think I want to. I 
Well, I'm not sure. Let's try this. I'm going to spritz water in different areas on the envelope, and then I'm going to drop on some of the coffee and see if I get any movement. See how that looks. Okay. So I'm going to do a spot there and a spot down in the corner. And I'm going to find that brush again. I should get out a pipit. My pipits go rogue all the time. Oh, hubby's home. Hi, honey. I'm streaming. Hello. She was out a couple times. All right, I've added some more spots here. Kind of liking the way this looks. Whoops, got some spatters. And then I'm thinking I might like, um, hmm. Let me get a square shader. Or something like that. Uh, that might be a little too large. Do, 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 do. I think I want to edge this a little bit. I might use other product to do this too. I just want to test and see what it's like with the coffee. I want that to bleed a little bit too, so let's put down some. Well, I'm not sure if I understand um, what you're suggesting, Beth. Give me a say it a different way. Maybe I can. Well, I'm not. I'm not. Um, you mean like an empty paint bottle with water in it? I think I should have not put, I'm not crazy about that. Um, I should have wet the edges more to have that bleed. Abort, abort. Let's see, let's see what it does. I'm going to use stencils in a minute. Coffee, yeah, I'm going to use a stencil. Okay, and coffee stain marks. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That one's a little... This one may be a little too bizarre for me. Let's spritz the whole thing. All right, but I want one that matches, so let's go ahead and my coffee fingers. I made a mark on that. Yes, I've done that too, Barb. I forgot about that, but yes, that's fun to do that too, for sure. And then I don't know if, if any of you gals have seen the, uh, now this was a while ago, Lisa from my, uh, Lisa Conway from my, Lisa, my eclectic life. She was taking paper, like damp paper, and crunched it up in a ball, just like regular copy paper, I think. At least that's what I used when I tried it. And um, she used different inks and stuff. And like Timmy sprays and stuff like that. I don't know if she used coffee or not. She may have. That part I'm not remembering. But I know I did it with the coffee as well. And oh my gosh. When you open that up and iron that paper. Fabulous. 
absolutely fabulous paper. Okay, so let's let that dry. I'm running out of space here. All right, now I'm going to try a couple of different things here. I got to remember to wipe off my fingers, my fingers. All right, I've got my stencils. Okay, so you want shapes first. Let's see, what do I have here? Um, now the thing of it is, I need some kind of a little um, tray or dish or something. Put a little bit of this in. Trying to think what in the world do I have that I see. I have a little um, palette dishes there, but oh, let me use the lid to this. Um, the little well's not deep enough for what I have in my hand. This is just a lid to a. Okay, brought this back from Europe because I love the jar. Okay, I don't even re. I don't even remember what was in this. Oh heavens! I just flipped. I just flipped my lid. Oh no, I've gone and done it. I flipped me lid. Gray skies are gonna clear up. Okay, now I gotta get it up off the floor. This is always a challenge because I have so much junk laying everywhere. Oh, at least you didn't see the top of my noodle. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of my thicker coffee in here. Oh, now I've got from it being on the floor, I've got fuzzies, fuzzy wuzzy. All right. Now that I just plopped. The coffee is making like a film, like a, like a bubble. Like, um, a soap bubble. Oh, that wasn't good, girls. I twisted that one. Okay. What else have you got? What else have you got, Law? Let's see. Uh, this is the, the top to a pair of scissors. All right, Genesis Coffee has an oil as a component. Teeny cup rings. I don't have a teeny cup. And it's sticky. The coffee is, you know, gets sticky because there's got to be some. This is the lid to, um, you know, a uh, needle nose glue thingy. So it's different than a circle. I wonder if I... Yeah, see, it's, it's doing the whole... It's kind of like... See, the coffee's see, making that film. Hi, lovely. 
Lovely. And, and do I have a right? Are you Jacqueline? I'm trying to remember. Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're messing around with some thick coffee elixir. This? That's too big. Plus, I have my, um, I have all my stuff in it. Oh, God, I got it right. Good afternoon. All right, I'm just looking around my work surface here. How about um, just a paintbrush? There's a novel idea. How about a good old paintbrush? Gray skies are gonna clear up. See if I can find one that I'm willing to. Well, I guess it would wash out, right? Willy nilly. Look, here's a scraper. Scrape some of those bubbles and scrape it this way. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure I'm going to find. I know, right, Jacqueline? We were saying that earlier. My gosh, we were up so late and <laughs> carrying on, carrying on. All right, this is one of the uh, Jane Davenport brushes. Let's see what this does. Well, that's kind of uneventful. All right, let's see what else have I got that would make a mark, like a cool, cool mark. Like, I have some big stuff, but I think it might be really a little too big. Other than circles. Oh, I have, let's see if I can reach these. This is one of those, um, yeah, that's a good idea. Pepe, I'm not tipping over my yellow coffee mug. Sorry, sweetie. I'm not doing it. It's just, it's too big, number one, for my taste. Number two, it's got my stuff in it. I, I don't want to dump it out. I just don't. I just don't want to do it. This is a little, you know, one of those little pans that you put the watercolor in. See, it's all making that. Look at the bubbles. I wish you could get that. Can you see the bubbles? Tiny bubbles. Now if I tap that off a little bit, that's making a that's making a better mark. I wonder how, like, one of these daughter things, if that would do anything. Eh. It's just like doing a mandala. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. I don't know if I'm going to be able to mimic that. But these are kind of cool. These are still drying. These, of course, I love spatter, so got to take that into consideration. 
I'm going to pull, well, they're still a little damp. Maybe I'll let those dry a little bit. Okay, so let's find a place for this guy to hang out. And where did I put, um, here we go. Let's try a stencil. So I've got my, some Timmy stencils here. Yeah, I like this speckled look too. No, it's just plain, uh, Jacqueline, it's just plain coffee and water. And uh, the this the stuff in this cup is just a little water. It was boiling, you know, instant coffee and a lot of instant coffee to just make a thicker, a thicker solution. Um, not quite as loose as what you would drink. The other the other container I have under here has it's just the same consistency. OK, Barb um as uh you would drink and now this has a little coloring on this sponge but i'm going to try this sponge with my stencils and they have to go brush and they have to use a brush but we'll see and then i was saying um earlier to those that are were here um last summer i left some coffee and just water sit on my desk and in a couple of days through evaporation it made a thicker stiffer consistency and I was able to put it on a on a stamp and stamp with it and that was kind of cool now these are this is going to be like a journal cover so I want to think about that too I'm going to try this bigger. So I'm putting this sponge and absorbing some of the um, thicker coffee. And I'm just going to pounce. I don't really want to rub it because I don't want it to run under the stencil. I'm not your best stenciler. I will admit that. I can do a lot of stuff. But stenciling, I'm not great at. And doing that canvas, place to canvas stuff. Whew. I can't do that at all. That really really kind of makes me crazy all right so i'm going to let that sit a minute i'm going to get my heat gun i think i want to give that a second coat yeah. i should have uh, put some washi tape down oh that's an idea okay jacqueline that's, that's a good idea. All right, let's see. I don't want to warp my stencil either. So you've got to be careful of that. You know, if you're doing something like that, because the heat gun can get pretty hot. So just be aware of that if you do this. Now, of course, in my mind with shading and stuff, I'm going to try to just get a second coat, not everywhere, but just in little spots. It's definitely sticky. This sponge is sticking to that container. I've got a fair amount of bubbles. They did mush together there. Probably that second coat 
did me in. Let's take this little. Oh, you know what? That one's really in pretty good shape. Let me not use that one. Let me. I have one over here. I kind of wrecked. Same principle. It's got the Velcro. I was messing around with paint and it bled through. But it's still got the, you know, the hairs of the Velcro. Hmm. Got a piece of fiber. Now I want to put a couple of these together too. So I don't want to be. Yeah, I kind of like that. I mean, it's not. I think where I put the paint, it's not picking up so much of the coffee. But there again, this has more of a spattered look to it, which which I kind of like. Let me hold it up. <clears throat> um, oh, and I want to make sure I get the, wait a minute, let me do over here some. Now when you watch it around, it makes more of a Hold it there a minute and see if I can. I'm waiting for my phone to catch up. So I can see if you can see it good. But can you see the little tiny? So I'm getting that little tiny marks and then blobs, which I think are kind of cool. Hey, Chris, how are you? Nice to see you. You're a busy lady, huh? We miss seeing you, Chris. Excuse me. Kind of cool, right? Oh, let's see. All right, so if I have that going that way, and I want an envelope to maybe be the be the back side. I guess I want to flip it over. I'm very dyslexic when it comes to stuff like this. All right, so let me wipe this off a little bit here first. I'm running out of room. It is very sticky. I should get a baby wipe. Chris, are you doing well? I hope you're doing well. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. But I'm going to go this way. Let me see if I still have some. Woo, yeah. So then I'm going to flip over the other ones that I spattered and spatter those. And then I need to dry a couple. And I have to think about some pages. I have to think about what I can. It's still bled, but it's okay. It kind of looks like a watercolor kind of a scenario. Let me just quick wipe this off. Be a little easier to clean off my stamp. And then I'm going to go back with that Velcro thing. All right. 
it. Let's cut that. I thought ahead. Okay, it looks like we're back. If I had thought ahead, of course, to tell you the truth, I, I have so many projects and so much stuff going on that um, it's only like a day or so before I'm going to stream. I think, oh, what do I feel like doing or what might the girls like to see or whatever. Like, I mean, I'm sorry to tell you that, but that's just the way my life is. Anywho, um, if I had thought ahead, I could have made this and had it sitting out a couple of days and had it get nice and thick and sticky. Oh, we can try a stamp. And I did have a small stamp sitting here. Where did I put that little gem? All right, so that kind of matches the other leaf one we did. All right, so we have two of those. Now I'm going to flip my, of course, I'm going to flip, I'm going to flip my pick. I'm going to try to dry these, these bigger puddles because I don't want to lose those, but I don't want them to smear and get smushed. Yeah, you can decorate them any way you want. I'm not sure what direction I'll head once I get, get it together and maybe put some pages in. Or should I doodle into the list? I'm not a great doodler. And some of it may be that I just like what other people do, so I think my doodling is not so great. Look how yummy that looks. Okay, I'm sorry, but that is just freaking yummy to me. Woo! Kind of getting bubbly. All right, let's just give that another minute or so. Okay, let's see. Where I have, I know I just saw a little stamp. I don't know if it's of a bumblebee or what I have sitting right here. I had a stamp. Oh, it's a little flowery thing. Got that one. I mean, I have tons, but I don't, uh, don't feel like digging out. That's a bigger one. I thought I had a bug. So what I had me a bug, and this may not work either because, oh, here we go. Here's some, oh, this is a cute one. I've got that little heart. That's probably not going to come out clear. All over the place of bottom. I'm sure these, these aren't going to work too well, but it's all right. We'll try. We'll see what we can do. All right, so the book will the book cover will go this way. This still is a little damp. Oh. I didn't turn it off. All right, let's see. You know what, let's, uh, I'm not sure, I think I do have brown ink.
but the idea was to try to use the coffee and see what I could do with it. So if I stamp off, I can get a real fine image. So if I had let this sit and really, you know, get thicker, you could use it as a stamping. Of course, you would be able to look. I, I tried to put that part in, in where the stuff is. Um, So it works a little bit. Of course, then you couldn't really do anything on top of it. I think it probably would run a little bit. That's not too bad, but it would just be very faint. Um, I wonder how that little star would do. Thanks, Ree. if I really want to waste another envelope on that really the stamping with the stamping okay so I have those two to work all right I'm going to flip this guy over move this out of the way find my brush and then I'm going to dry up this right here Give that a little go. Get that a little dry. This one's still a little. I might be able to get that up without losing that shape. It's just a little, still a little sticky. All right, now. G. Kerr, if you ever watched, and I watched it a long time ago, so I may be misstating this. But I'm sure you could find it on her channel if you wanted to watch her video. But the one I watched, I believe she used either paper or fabric to um, hook, hook her envelope pages together. So I have some coffee stained uh, muslin type fabric sitting here, but I also have this piece of, and I don't need this much. <clears throat> this is, um, I think this was a piece of sheet or pillowcase if I'm remembering correctly. So I'm just going to take a snippet of that. And I'm going to paint some of this coffee on it. This is a little too light for what I am liking at this moment. So I'm just going to paint some of this on it. So if I decide to use it, I can dry it and have it ready. I'm going to use fabric rather than paper. It's a little fiddly sometimes lining up and gluing down your... Lisa Conway, yeah, she's she's cool. She, she does a lot of cool stuff too, yeah. I know she crumpled up paper. The crumpled up paper is like so amazing. And she just drips, you know, she uses a, yeah, a pipette and just drips on. You can use an eyedropper too. Okay. Now I used to have a lamp here that once I plugged the lamp in, I could put my paper on the lamp, my fabric on the lamp and it would dry real quick. But I don't have that anymore. It died. It died. All right. Now I have this too. Where is the piece of, hmm, I'm going to steal this. I don't know if this would work. 
this was the end of the edge of um, some kind of linen. It might have been a pillowcase. But see, I need two pieces of it because you need it for the back and the front side. Isn't that funny? That little spot there, I can't get can't get the uh, coffee to die there. Maybe uh, there was something on there that you can't. I can't see with the naked, with the naked eye. I wonder if I have another piece of that handy that I could. I just happened to think I need two. I need two of those. So I was messing around with some fabric <clears throat> yesterday. And I know I had more of that. Well, it doesn't have to be the same on both sides. I guess I can use a piece of um, muslin. All right, so let me put some of this aside and clean up some of this. So, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. <clears throat> Janice is leaving. Bye, Janice. Bye, Janice. Have a good day. So put those aside. stamps over there and that little cup is going to be sticky to break out a baby wipe here all right i don't know if there's enough oh yeah i'm just squeezing that paper towel out in my little jar my little measuring cup. I'll hang that there out of the way. Get a baby wine. Now the envelope journals, quote unquote, you know, you don't have to put pages in it. It's yours. If you're making it for yourself or for a friend, and they have a particular need or you think, you know, they could use it in a certain way, then you just build it um, the way you want or the way you think that you would use it or they might use it. The thing is, like most of anything we do, just have fun and, you know, excuse me, do what you can do. Um, and if some of you or those that might watch the replay, if you would like to make a journal and you never have really done it by yourself before and you're feeling a little anxious or you, you know, quite don't know how to get started. I remember Holly would say to me, you know, I'm just so nervous to start and try to make one. Um, but this is an easier way to maybe do it. Um, because you don't need much in the way of supplies and you don't have to make it really big. You know what I'm saying? It can be on a smaller scale. It's not like altering a whole book or doing a whole lot of pages. So now I want to use one that is really kind of drying. I think these two will work. The ones with the spatters are going to take some time to still dry. Now I want this really dry because um, I'm going to put fabric and I'm going to use my fabric tack. I have stitched some of these as well. Um, I'm trying to think. This may be my variation on what G. Kerr does because I seem to remember her cutting the edges and stitching inside. I could rewatch that. Hey, Peggy, Peggy, how are you? Oh, how nice. Oh, that sounds fun. Glad you popped in. Nice to see you. All right, so I'm going to just dry these a little bit.
and you can uh, make the, the fabric stick out the edge, cut it off even, however you like. I didn't do anything on the insides of these. That's all right. It's all right. Now, of course, these are the square envelopes. So I'm not quite sure what I have that might work. pages but we'll worry about that in a few moments I feel like they're dry they don't feel damn yeah Peggy I think Peggy's house probably always looks decorated really fabulous for whatever season all right, so I'm going to seam these here, okay? I'm going to use my fabric tack, and I'm going to use a piece of whoop, whoop, this muslin that I had. And I'm not even going to worry about ironing this, which, you know, you could. But I took my iron out in the other room. <clears throat> so... I usually like to have a little bit hanging over. So I'm going to snip it. I like to tear. I don't like to cut. I don't cut very straight. I don't cut paper very straight. Okay, Peggy says, I haven't seen my niece in five years. Oh my gosh. Oh, Peggy, that's going to be so fun. And I need a piece for each side. And you don't have to make it this wide either. And you can use all kinds of fabric. Like sometimes I've used country fabric or like a, if you find an old antique like woolen fabric or a fuzzy kind of felt fabric. You know, all that stuff looks great. Just want to snip it here. You can always trim it doesn't have to be perfect i like i said you know you can leave an edge where you can dangle stuff from now if you want you could not cheat but i mean you could um tape this together with some washi or some clear tape but i usually just go for it I really should iron that, I guess. I'm just trying to think if I want it that wide. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. I eyeball everything, girls. I just am not... I am not friendly with a ruler. Not at all. But certainly if you had some wide... Um, Seam binding, you know, anything like that. Old stuff off of an old book. All right, so I'm thinking just so I don't look like a goofball, I'm going to just put a little bit of tape on here.
And this is just making the cover of my journal. Call it an envelope journal just because I'm using two envelopes. All right. And the Fabri-Tac um, dries pretty quickly. Now, I think I want... I think I want this to be the front cover, so I'm just going to flip that around. And I, you know, ironing this probably would be a good idea. And I'm going to start it up there. And I'm going to leave a little bit hanging out the bottom in case I want to. I can always trim it off. But if I do that, I have the option where I can dangle stuff, stitch stuff on or whatever, right? All right, so I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac and I'm going to put some on both sides. Now this is very new Fabri-Tac, so it's nice and juicy and coming out nice and easy. Sometimes it's a struggle. And I'm going to use my little silicone spreader to spread out that glow. And I'm going to stretch it. And then just rub it down. Now that does seep through because your fabric is porous. I'm going to give this a little yank. I want that up a little further. See, now I can sneak more under here. You could mark it, you know, so you know how, how wide you need your glue to come out. need it stuck all the way down either you know just depends on what you like oh where's my here it is now some of that glue went through so you just want to be careful Peggy, do you like to bake and cook? Like, will you be doing special things for her visit? Okay, so then you've got your other side. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take your other piece and you're going to glue it. And then I try to line it up where it's, you know, lined up with the piece I have on the other side. So I'll put down my glue. And I'm going to spread it out. Now, I usually like to put some book pages in here. You could use it just like this, really. Just use the two sides. But whether you use blank pages or book pages or pages you can sketch on, you know, whatever. However you see yourself using it. Or if you're making it for a colleague or a friend or a sister or a niece. Clothes shopping for, oh, that's fun. Oh, Peg, so fun. It's 
so fun. So my daughter just had a birthday and I had asked her for some ideas. And she's like, Mom, I just really enjoy clothes. So that's fine. Now, of course, once that dries, you can stitch down the sides if you want to do some additional, you know, stitching. But I'm just going to let that dry a little bit. And then I have some of that um, paste. It's uh, antiquing paste. Zena enabled me to get this. It's only a small tube, so you probably have to, you know, get, get more of this uh, quite frequently because who would ever think that they would package something like this in such a small tube? <laughs> so I've got a little bit of that to use up, but I can use that to decorate on the inside. Now I'm just thinking, I did pull, uh, let's see if I can grab it without knocking over a bunch of stuff. See, because I pull stuff out and then as I'm getting ready, I always stack stuff on top of other stuff. See, now I did what I told you not to do. I put this envelope down to dry and I put it face down instead of and of course it landed on top of my file folder. So, now I've got a bunch of different pages in here. Of course, I don't think any of them are square. Hey, Devin, how are you? Ooh, ooh. No, that's way too big. And you can cut, of course, you can cut pages. But of course, you have to know where your trimmer is. Some of that might work. There's a page from the post. Country pies. Oh, look, that's pretty. That's pretty plain. So that's lovely. Let's do that. The charm of country pies. Who doesn't love a stinking country pie? That's a little heavier. I'm going to see if I can make some of these work. It's going to be just, you know, like kind of a little mishmash. See if there's anything else cute in here that I can stick in. Let's see how that goes. There's a little skinny one. Family health. I don't want that in with my pies. Nothing healthy with the pies. I'm just saying. Doesn't work for me. Oh, look how pretty that is. I could probably trim that. Do, 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 do. Boy, I'm going to have that song in my head all day long. All day long. Okay, let's see. Here's some more pie stuff. Oh, look how cute that is. Of course, these are going to be on their side. I could find without having to dig something else out. I know I had a little tippet sitting here at the ready, and now mm, see if you think and uh, plan a stream. you know, several days in advance and try to th think through the process that you're going to do. You know, you don't have to be looking and searching for stuff like Lori does. So 
I'm just saying. Don't do what I do. If you're going to stream. Just saying. Do, 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 do. Look how cute. Wouldn't that look cute glued in somewhere? Let's see. I know it's a baking thing, but for the most part. But hey, it's mine. I can do what I want. I'm looking for a pivot. I thought I threw one in there somewhere. I should have left my iron out here. That would have been cool if I left my iron. But I wasn't sure. Oh, I'm glad, Devin, because I think most people probably find it annoying. But thank you so much. I was saying to the girls earlier that, believe it or not, even if I'm not streaming and I'm doing this by myself, uh, I, I'm still singing and making all kinds of noises. It's just the way my brain my, my brain is. Let's see. Last place to look. I've got a couple of little drawers here that might have a pippet in it. But, oh, there, I see one. I see one. I see two. I see three. Da, 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 da. This one has a little bit of something in it. I thought I rinsed them better. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we have our cover. And I used the... Uh, I use the fabric tack. That doesn't that page doesn't look like it's it might just be I don't, I don't know if I want the Nazi thing in my book. Yeah, I think I should take a measurement breaking protocol here are you barb barb i think we would get along really well okay so i really can go uh, if we do ten and a half all total so if i overlap oh i didn't measure the other side hold please <laughs> I gotta go the other I gotta measure the other way too. Do, 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 do. All right, five and a half. So let's say we can go five and a quarter. Let's say we do five and a quarter. Oh, who was it? I think it might have been Janice Glines. Who oh I think it was Beth. I think it was Beth's um <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> I think it was Beth's stream and Janice. I think it was Janice. Beth, are you still here? I think it was Janice. Beth was doing a giveaway and how you put in numbers. And Janice said nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. And darn it, she didn't win. <laughs> the number was 10. Oh, wait a minute. I see a, I see a paper trimmer within grasp. I don't know where my normal little one is. I think this one's hopefully got a, yeah, it's got a blade in it. It's always a good thing to have a blade in your trimmer. I was so tempted to buy this little tiny trimmer. It's the tiniest one I ever saw. But I don't need it. I have I have so many. Okay, so if I want to fold my paper this way, I want to take off, let's leave that. Can you see what I'm doing? I got stuff stacked everywhere. So I'm going to go five, what did I say? Five and a quarter? Oh my goodness, does this only go up to, oh heavens. Wait a minute, is, is there a slidey thing? I don't see a slidey thing. Hmm, isn't that strange? 
Yep, it's there. I can't get it to slide. All right, how am I? Am I sliding it the wrong way? Goodness me, I don't think I ever used this where it. All right, it's a Fisker. And I can see in there that there's a measurement. So this has to slide out somehow. I don't see any locking mechanism. Maybe this is why uh, I got it on clearance or whatever. Well, you know what? Let's try this. I popped it. I popped it. La 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 la. Oh. Oh, it's so good to know I'm not alone. So good to know. All right. Let's do the stacking. Now, these pages are very thin, but that's okay. I think I can trim a couple at a time. I'm going to take off the bottom. Of course, right where I want to be is right where these crazy lines are. So, oh, I'm so bad at this. One, two, three. So, I guess that's five and a half there. No. I can't be. I can't be. I don't want to wreck my. Maybe it is. So I want to trim right about there. Okay, just added a pencil to the mech. To the mess. Well, we'll see. Am I driving anybody crazy yet? I did five and a half, and it should be five and, and a quarter. That quickly I forgot my measurement how sad how very sad so let's let's go again let's try that one two three yeah let's try there And I don't need a lot of pages. I don't. I really don't. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely. Oh, yeah. I was thinking I might put that in there. It's a flower, but I like it. Ooh, Art Nouveau. Keisha was selling this thing. Oh, I had to sit on my hands. It was to cut washi tape. You know, I mean, really, do you need that? Pro you know, probably not, but it was really cool looking. And then some, but where was I? I don't know if I was surfing or what I was doing. Tim Holtz has a washi tape dispenser. Oh my gosh. Some people uh, like on, um, uh, Facebook Marketplace. Some people, the prices they want for some of this stuff. And I go there thinking, you know, it's like old stuff. Stuff you shouldn't be wanting top dollar for. But that's my mindset. Anyway. So they're pricey. I, I think they're hard to find. I don't know. I didn't find that many. But it's the cutest looking little thing. It looks like your dry tape, you know, dispenser thing. But it just, it's for washi tape. So cute. Do I really need it? No. Use a pair of scissors, Lori. Just saying. 
okay these, you know these are going to end up being a different size right so don't judge me i did say you can do whatever you want right it's your book hey mama did it okay so now this i think i want to take a little bit off each end and then we'll see where we are i might like to have this in the center oh that's a little scary i think that got that spot on i might want it a little um smaller though gray skies are gonna cheer yeah i don't use i'm sure i do not use my washi too it's fullest potential put on a happy face over the place so put on a happy face i'm gonna take more off I'm going to take more off. All right, so now my idea, of course, this size is perfecto. Almost. See, so when you have this, now this glue is going to, you know, it's tightening up, it's drying, so it's a little stiffer. But you just fold that, right? And so you've got pockets, and then you can close that. You can put a closure there, or you can use this to make a closure around your little journal. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but then I want to pop in some pages. So I can use this as my template. So let's put the trimmer away. And if anybody is just popping in, what we did was we coffee, stain, dyed, if you will, paper envelopes to use them to make envelope journals. And I use two different strengths of coffee. Spread sunshine all over the place and put on a happy face. All right, so I'm going to use this as my template. So what I'm thinking thinking about overlapping overlapping so let's pull out some washi let's see what washi I have already out mm. that might look fun in this yeah oh i love this one i love this one i think that's a jane davenport and i don't care you know i don't care i don't care remember that from a movie judy garland i don't care i don't care um i don't think i have any timmy out important details this side up that's kind of fun I might want something a little wider. I'm not thinking blues, but of course I've got that big wide one, but uh, well, I can do different. Oh my gosh, Devin, that sounds so fun. When did you do that? Like were you in high school or were you in some kind of a theater group? Oh, that sounds so amazingly fun. Okay, let's. One page at a time. Let's see. Well, okay. So, like, if you have to go, you, you go, right? I had a little something to eat, so I don't have to be anywhere till this early evening to play cards with our friends 
Now I'm just kind of overlapping this because I think eventually I'm going to stitch this into my little book. And I can really remove this. Oh, that sounds cool, Barb. A million years ago, I was a dancer from age eight to get out of town. Where are you, Devin? Good for you. How cool. Okay, and this doesn't have to be exact again, right? Oops, I've got pages dropping all over. Let's see if I can get off a piece of washi without it running amok. And I can always remove this if I so desire. I probably should, because what I'm really thinking about doing is um, spattering this with some, or painting it with some, uh, well, I can use my, my glass measure thing here. So I'm doing 10 inches by five, basically. Well, it says five and a half, so I guess I must have been off when I cut that other this is a little crooked and wonky, but I'm thinking if I want to do see, this is when you don't have a plan, you're all over the map. All over the map. I found an old cigar box and I'm wondering what I'm gonna keep in it, but It's not that big. It's a real thin, narrow one. I'm not not so much necessarily into cigar boxes per se, but I saw this. I guess it was at Goodwill. I don't usually see stuff like that at my Goodwill, so I just grabbed it. All right. Did anybody see where I put mine? Oh, there we go. There's my brush. I think I want some color on these pages. Wouldn't it be fun to have a drying rack? Woo! You know, like they have in the UK. Janet, if Janet Nash is still here, I bet you she has it where you put your towels and stuff in the loo. My mother got, has one. Who knows why? But most people that I know in the States, they don't have them. But we, when we stayed in the one, the one um, Airbnb that we, my son and I stayed in, it was a, a like a little loft flat, didn't have a kitchen, didn't have a, even have a microwave. That was the only bummer. That was the only bummer there. Um, let me try one of these. Let me try this page. I'm going to spritz this and dampen this page. And then I'm crumpling, okay? I'm just going to crumple. That's not as wet as it should be. And uh, anyway, why are we so wet? Well, anyway, we were drying our clothes and stuff. I guess we had, had rain. And um, we had them in the bathroom, drying on one of those little dry racks. They stick right up close to the wall. All right, uh, chat, let's see, Barb is saying, Devin, my, my, oh, just turned 11. Great niece told me she doesn't wear necklaces and bracelets because it interferes with her dancing. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Hi, Elise, how are you today? Oh my gosh, aren't kids just, aren't they just the greatest thing? Uh, we went to my daughter's for her birthday and um 
my granddaughter showed me. Oh my gosh. She made a board game. And of course, the crafty mind of mine immediately goes, oh, I wish she had done this at my house. I could have given her so much better stuff, but God bless her, she had. A couple pieces of flat cardboard um, taped together. She had a little path drawn, all different colors. And then at the top, she had an American flag and some buildings. I forget what she called the game. Something about uh, go, traveling around the world or something. And then she had little torn pieces of paper that were the, you know, you would draw cards from. I'm not sure what she had on the other side of those. And then she had smaller little pieces of paper ripped and torn and had different colors on them. And they were her game pieces. Okay. Oh, that's a great idea, Barb. I don't have room anymore for my drying rack. Okay, so these little pieces here, I should have a tray to put them in. And I don't. Oh, maybe I could use this. And, um... Oh my gosh, the game was so cute. So when she was showing me the game, she says to me, and of course I'm a brat, all right, excuse the paint, but I'm going to put these on here and then I'm going to take the thicker coffee mixture that I have and just drip some in here and there down in the crevices. Now, the paper could be wetter, I, I have to say. It could be wetter. I did big trays of these. And if you if you go, I don't know what she called it, though. This was a while ago. Lisa Conway did something similar. And I think she used coffee, but I know she used inks and sprays. Anyway, my granddaughter is showing me her game, right? And she says to me, this is the game I made. I said, you made that? It didn't come out of a box? She said, no, I made it myself. My gosh, they're so stinking cute, these kids. All right, so I'm going to let them sit for a minute. Okay, I'm going to let them sit probably for a little longer than a minute. And then I'm going to hit them with the heat gun. But when you iron, like, I'll iron those pages. Okay, I'm going to iron them. Because they look so fabulous when you iron them. Just saying, they do. Now, what did I put? Where did I put my... All right, let me spray this a little bit. Let's do some more of this. So I said to her mother, ask her if you want, if she wants me to make her game pieces. Because I have the shrinky dink paper. And I could, you know, I asked her if she wanted certain shapes. Of course, my grandson's been sick with a cold. My daughter's nursing a migraine, so it wasn't a great week. So I didn't get an answer yet. But wouldn't it be great to make her game pieces with some shrinky dink that she could use on her game course I'm thinking oh my gosh I have so many things she could use okay I'm just you don't have to do this you know you can just put in whatever paper I'm just trying to jazz this paper up a little bit and if you don't like the um if you don't like the smell of coffee don't do this I like the smell of coffee so. <gasps> There goes my paper. Oh, I knew I was pushing the envelope on that one. All right, let's do a smack and drag kind of a thing. I'm not good at that either. I think we've covered pretty much all the stuff I'm not good at today. See, this is where I get, this part of my stream, I get, like, not nervous or anxious. I mean, I know some girls go for, like, a couple of hours. 
but they're like, you know, they're like, they're like really got a following and, but you know, if everybody just starts leaving, then you need to go. I'll just, you know, end it. Gosh, I don't know what I did with my, it's so unusual. My desk is so clean. I don't know what I did with my, um, Oh, I put it back where it belonged. See, don't you hate when that happens? You're looking for something and there it is. Right where it's supposed to be. How can that be? How does that happen? I don't know. It doesn't happen often, but there you go. A zillion years ago, Shannon Green did a video of herself ironing paper. She was so funny. Oh my gosh. I love ironing paper. I don't like to iron, but I'm telling you what. Ironing paper is very satisfying. Whoops. I got a dot on my art print. Oh, well. And she'll add to the charm. I am wishing and hoping and praying. How does that go, Barb? Hey, Mina. Hi. Popping in to say hi. Because you can't stay. Okay, that'd be great. Mean, I hope you're not tuckered out from the market weekend. Hoping and wishing. And how does that go, Barb? You know what I mean? Anyway, now I forget what I was going to say. It may come back to me like you know the girls always say squirrel Whew, i'm so add that's not even funny hugs to you mina have a good day all right let's see you know while i'm doing this i should just spatter the inside of my because i didn't do that this is got a different style on the other side but it really does not matter oh i know i was saying the girls that stream for four hours five hours they have i don't know i don't know why i feel like it's different i guess i just my husband is amazed that anybody would sit here with me and um you know watch for all these hours Oh, I know. Wishing and hoping and praying. That's what I was saying. Wishing and hoping and praying. Now, my one sister is starting, to, like I said, to get into watercolor painting and acrylic painting and things like that. You know, arty things, which she never did before. She now wishes she had tried years ago. And our younger sister, she likes to felt... But I'm telling you what, if us three, if I can talk those two into sometimes starting to stream with me, Artie Dar, hello. Ooh, what were you doing in the attic? I hope you weren't in time out. I hope you were digging through treasures. It would be wishing and hoping and thinking and praying, planning and dreaming. Each night of his charms that won't get you into his arms. Oh, Barb, you are so fabulous. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's it. It would be such a hoot with my two sisters. My youngest sister is an absolute crazy fun woman. She is like bonkers. Okay. She taught fourth grade in a Christian school for what 18 20 years okay and she used to just pop into somebody else's classroom and just burst out in song okay you think i'm a wacko she is 10 times worse than me but so fun thank you Artie Dar. okay so let's dry a couple of these up just so you can kind of get to see where I'm going. So see, I'm just giving these pages a little character. And then once they dry, 
because I'll tell you what, I like paper that's like, like wrinkly and bumpy and, you know, that kind of thing, you know, so they're not all straight and smooth. I like it to have, I like when it warps. So if I do that, look, this looks like um, a beauty mark. I'm at, there's Marilyn Monroe beauty mark on my art page. Ooh, go. Okay, I'm going to put these aside. I'm going to wipe up my sticky coffee. These can be drying a little bit. Just a little bit. Doo -doo, just a little bit. Do, do. I've watched some other folks stream and they'll say something and I'll think of a song and I'm like, how can they not start singing that song? Well, it's because they're not, you know, crazy. They're just normal folk. All right. I mean, girls, you should see me when I get going, especially if I'm on Snapchat and I start doing my accents and your face is all crazy and it kind of um oh i apologize kind of um distort your voice oh my gosh it's so fun i could entertain myself for hours doing that absolutely hours okay just saw a figure walk by my back window it's my hubby he's out oh see the sun came out and he's out working in the yard god love him he loves to do yard work we don't have a lot in common. <laughs> okay. So now this is still wet because I spritzed it. But you know what? I'm just going to roll with it. and just going to smash it. So I'll put those pages together and then I will insert them. But I'm thinking I want to decorate the front. Right? So maybe I want to put some stamp, some kind of stamps design down the side. I kind of like this little heart. And let's see how that works on that. Got my archival ink here. Let's put a little clip on these babies. Let's see. I'd be banned from public <laughs> <laughs> all right so what i have i have ground espresso let's try that let's put my black you do dixie oh my gosh okay first of all and it's not just because i'm heavy i've been like this for years i really don't like to bend over okay i just don't like to bend over and my knees have never been great so like being on my knees uh no no thank you and then and then there's the whole i don't know how do i put this the whole dirt thing okay just don't like it i like to look at it i just don't like to be in the dirt mm. and i really don't mind watching you know men do the work <clears throat> okay let's not go there all right, let's take a piece of this scrap so I can stamp off. You know, my husband, he got a big case of, um, oh, that looks nice. He got a big case of chiggers. We moved to Jersey and there are things called chiggers, which... You know, I camped as a kid. I mean, we did stuff outside. You know, we weren't inside all the time. Yes, painty fingers, no problem. Gluey fingers, no problem. Dirt, eh, no. Um, chiggers, we never heard of chiggers. So, you know, he would do his yard work. He loves to read. He loves to be in a hammock. So we have some trees out back and he put his, hang, his hammock up. We were here just maybe a year or so. And... Um, Gosh, he started to itch. Don't you itch? I said, no, I don't itch. What's the matter? You know, and he looked like he had leprosy. 
Okay, they finally figured out it was it was chiggers. I mean, you should see this. I think he still has the picture on his phone. You should see this man's legs, and he was in agony. I mean, it was not it was not pleasant. So he has in in the last couple of years hired somebody to cut the grass because he's afraid to get obviously he was he's allergic to whatever they have you know in their little teeth or whatever and oh man they really they really nailed them now probably i'm not going to see a lot of this but i don't know because my pages i'm not sure how that's going to go so i'm just going to stamp in here anyway And I know I have a stamp that um, does little dots, but I, it's a hazard for me at this point to get up. Yeah, they're teeny tiny bugs. The articles we read that if you take a white piece of paper and go out in your yard and just run the paper through your grass or if you have tall weeds or whatever, and then bring it in with like a magnifying glass and you see little tiny like red spots on the paper they're the chiggers yeah right right ray he it took forever for him to get rid of them and so this time of year i mean he does bundle up a little bit but now um jacqueline the uh, what's her handle lovely crafty lovey crafty lady Jacqueline she was here earlier when I was doing the coffee stain and she suggested this so now I'm going to use this and put some little dots around that looks pretty cute they're nasty nasty little bugs if you will little buggers so this time of year they're not uh, out and about so much so he can get out and do some yard work and not worry but once you know spring is sprung and uh, May you know and then we get into the summer months Love, thanks, Barb. Lovely's Crafting Lodge. Yes, Jacqueline. She suggested using that Velcro. It gives, it gives a nice mark. All right. So that's the beginning. Now, the thing of it is, I need to think about um, what I have handy that I can add to the front of my little book I kind of like that of course I don't want it that big see what I do is I have sitting behind me a filing cabinet which is really wonderful all right Dixie planted oh okay Dixie I guess you're down south maybe a little little further down south See, it's too early for us to plant our, our garden. Bitty bugs are not my friends. New Jersey is bad with all the marsh, etc. Artie, are you in Jersey? I'm a Jersey girl now. Not really. I'm a Pensy girl at heart, but I'm in Jersey now. I'm going to whack this. I'm going to whack it. All right, so I have a filing cabinet behind me. Do I ever cut straight? I don't think so. It's not too bad. Um, but everything I want is in the bottom of the filing cabinet as far as, say, like a, um, a punch. Because I want to make a little half, like a half moon divot. One here. And that's not going to help me, and that's not going to help me. Let's see if I have any ink left in here. No, of course not. Let me 
me use some of them. Let me use some of my paste that I'm just. A, oh, Kate May. Oh, no. Here we go. Are you ready? One of my favorites. Hold on, girls. Here we go. Let me see if I got it. <clears throat> on the way to Cape May. No, it's too low. On the way to Cape. On the way. No, it's too high. I can't get my right key. I don't even know what key I sing in. On the way to Cape May, I fell in love with you. On the way to Cape May. Um, oops. Stone Harbor was in view. Is that how it goes? If you're gonna, yo. Oh, you're in Texas. Oh, there you go. If you wanna be my gal. Oh, I forget. I haven't heard it. Al Alberts. Woo! I haven't heard that in a long time. Oh my gosh, I love that song. I, my heart was gone when we reached Avalon. Reached Avalon on the way to Cape May. Yes, there you go. You made my dreams come true. <laughs> oh my gosh absolutely love and for those of you that don't know al alberts i don't know if it was his real hair or whether he wore a rug he probably wore a rug big thick head of black hair oh my gosh al alberts love it love it now I'll be singing that. Oh, that's one of my favorites, especially in the summer. And I would listen to um, uh, Oh, Sherry lives 10 minutes from you. Oh, Barbara, Barbara. Yeah, Sherry and Barb and um, Dev, they're, they're up in Canada. Used to listen to the Golden Oldies, W O G L. And they'd play Al Alberts. Oh my gosh. And especially if you were on a shore, on your way to the shore, and that song came on, oh my gosh, we would go cray cray in the car. Wind is down, singing to the top of our lungs. Fabulous. So you're about two hours from me, Dar. Now, see, we don't like that. See how that just doesn't look nice. I'll scoot some color in there. All right, let's do a little. I'll do a little heart down there. Now I think I want to do this. And I know I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Barb said, what did you say, Barb, the one time? Uh, it gets really warm where she is from like what july 1st to july 2nd or july 1st to july 3rd all right i'm going to take some clear tape i don't have any you know made i haven't i haven't tried the frosted i said to my husband i haven't tried the frosted um i know i have a clear tape that's open i'm just gonna see if i can do this on my work surface i want to can you see over here a little bit just a little bit <laughs> yep see i had it right i i remembered let's try that all right i'm just going to maybe pop this down maybe over here and i'm just going to use my fabric tack because i have it handy here Because this really does kind of, you know, work a little quicker than 
some of the others. As far as, you know, sticking down and staying where you want it relatively quickly. Now, I have no idea where I'm going with this, girls. And I'm just finding stuff that's sitting around here that I can add on. Scripts and scraps. and See, look, I just pulled this out of my side filing cabinets. Filing system over here, which is not very good. Not very good. I wonder if this will fit. Ooh, ooh, it might. <laughs> Peggy, Peggy, I don't want to be hearing about an estate sale. A de-stash de 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 is good. Estate sale, no. No, we're not having that. Not having that. Okay, so I'm going to make some... Uh, I don't know. I guess I should say vintage looking tape, but I always say it looks like, you know, tape that's been peed on. I know that's gross. I shouldn't say things like that, but you know, it just, that's what's in my head. So I have this alcohol ink. They have a lot of different colors. I just have the one, which I think I made a pretty decent choice. This one's a latte, but I think they have honey, honey, wild honey, and you know, all different kinds ranger has all different choices but i think this is a pretty good one for you know doing the tape that looks like it's old and vintagey p tape yes that's what i think it is p tape i know but then i think you know okay so if we I guess we all complain about where we live, but like you girls that have that cold weather all the time, I guess because that's where you born and raised, that's so you're used to it. But it's hard to move, right? I always thought I wanted to move out to Lancaster, Pennsylvania and live out there. That's a two hour ride. And then my daughter had two children. And now I'm an hour and 15 minutes away. I shouldn't have rubbed this. I shouldn't have rubbed this. I should just left it dry. I'm going to add more on. Don't pay attention to me. Don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. I am trying to use a lot of what. Oh, look, it made a really weird pattern. Who pees like that? Nobody. All right, I'm gonna hit that with now. If I hit it with the heat gun, don't get don't get worried, don't get crazy. I'm just gonna hit it lightly. But I don't want my tape to melt, you know. So hands on, hands off, do 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 do. Or first thing, or first thing, it's in the first thing in the morning. Okay, because I think I want some of that on there. And I want some on my paper, too. But I can do that another day. Let's see. How is the paper? Oh, the paper's doing pretty well. It's starting to dry up a little bit. Might be able to stuff some pages in there. Okay, I so I need some, I need some cute things to stick on here. Let's see. Let's see. And uh, here's praying there's no avalanche. Okay, did anybody ever see the movie? Uh, I'm sure Barb has seen the movie. Barbara strides in. And, um, oh my gosh, his, his face is in front of me. His name just escaped me. It's about boxing it's about a fighter ryan o'neill oh look how cute she is ryan o'neill i'm 
No, Ryan, it's Ryan O'Neill, um, Barbara Streisand, and she, she it, his name is Kid Something. Oh, what's the name of the song? Oh, I mean, the movie that my sisters would know. And he's a fighter. Oh, you were thinking Funny Girl? Oh, yeah, yeah, she did Funny Girl. Oh, my gosh, that's a whole nother thing. Um. Anyway, she wants to get her money back. So, oh, she had a per she was the nose. She was smelling perfume, and her business was going under. Her her accountant or whatever stole all her money, and so she wanted to get her business start up. So she wants this guy. The only thing she had left was this fighter. Apparently, she owned. Okay, and um, main event. It was called main event. Oh my gosh, it's old old movie, but it's so great. And so she goes with him to training camp and he absolutely does not want her there. And she's freezing. It's winter time and she's all bundled up and she's with all these guys that, you know, are used to hanging out at a boxing place. Oh my gosh. And she's like trying to, you know, they're passing her food. And if, if any of you were followers or had been followers of Barbara Streisand, you know, she always had the big nails and you know they hand her the plate of corn and there's like four kernels and she's scraping four kernels of corn on on her plate it's an absolute riot but um so he's meeting with the guy that he's going to be fighting against who is of a latino spanish descent he has an accent of course like this was years ago when you could get away with this stuff and he says something about, you know, he's going to send them to the hospital. And he says this word and she says, what, what, what is that word? And he's saying an ambulance and she's, he's, um, you <laughs> Oh, sorry. Sorry for the snort. If you get a chance to find that old movie. Oh my gosh, her voice isn't incredible. But she, you know, I, I can, you know, she's not for everybody. I get that too. But her voice to me is really great. Oh yeah, Dar. It's a it's a really, really great fun movie. And of course, uh, Ryan O'Neill has this girlfriend that Oh my gosh, she smokes and, you know, the no bra and she drinks and, oh my gosh, she, I think she lives in a giant mushroom or something. Oh my gosh, it's just so funny. All right, I'm not sure any of this is going to work. She's kind of cute. I think these, I think this is a sticker. Maybe let's. See, this is why you need a big tub of this because look, it's already absorbed into me sponge. I can't get any color and you've got to use some more. Yes, true. I, I didn't want to say the politics thing. She lost me with the, as far as the politic thing, but. As far as a talent, uh, I mean, I don't even know if she does concerts anymore, right? Because she really doesn't have to. Well, let's see if this works. Didn't really have the right glasses on for this, but let's see. Ooh, I got it, girlfriend. So I slid it a little bit, but that's all right. Don't tell me, but I sit and putter. The ball of butter. Rain on my parade. Oh, you know, I think it has a 
it has a funny oh i think that's how the sticker is i didn't do it let's see if i can get it down square My hands are a mess. That's your favorite. I'm marching my band out. I'll beat my drum and if I stand out. But, sir, because you gotta make it hot, sir. I guess you didn't make it. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comma. Okay, I want a piece of, a little piece of, nobody, no, nobody, is oh, you should do it now, Bev. is just a little too wide and want something thin. Boy, I got a lot of thongs rolling around in the old noggin today. Okay, Keisha hates this noise. Love it. I love those crazy little bags. I'm rummaging. I'm rummaging. Hang in there. Hang in there. Well, there's a piece of cancer. No, not, not liking that. I think I do need some. I, I think I need a bit of lace. Or maybe a piece of... Sorry. Some sorry. Might work. Let's see. Let's see. I got... Where's the end? This is so pretty. Of course, I have to, um, I have to uh, dirty that up. I don't know if I can, hmm, that's a possibility. Sorry, I just threw all this stuff in a bag because I'm working on these little cloth, um, little cloth journals. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, look at this. Oh, let's do that. Doesn't that look darling? Let's do that. Did you do all kinds of dance? Did you do ballet? Did you do tap? Did you do jazz? What kind of dance, Dev? Come on. Come on, Dev. Spill the beans. All right, I think I want this to go on this way. And let's cut right there. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I love that. I love that sound. Okay, so I don't know if I'd said this before when I visited, when we were just visiting my daughter and her family for her birthday. All right, so this tape, I'm not sure this is going to stay sticky once I peel this up. And somebody gave my grandkids for a lack. Okay, so Dev did tap, ballet, and jazz. Song. Oh my gosh. My mom always wanted to learn how to tap, but she never did. Let's see if I can get that to stick. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. That looks cool, right? I should have pulled out a piece of um, maybe I ought to quickly flip on my hot glue gun. It was just my grandmother's house. 
and our house and then um the house next to us my friend shirley lived there and she danced she took classes and she did tap and jazz and all that stuff so we live vicariously through her my parents didn't have really have the money i don't think to send us and i don't think any of us were whining and crying to go do it i never really thought about it so i wanted my daughter to do it so i started her when she was really very young i guess she was four years old uh, but she was um she's a bright she's a bright young woman she was a smart kid and she was just so bored because for her age group all they did was like go around in circles and they might have a teddy bear and then they would you know with their finger she would complain and say mommy it's just so she was just so bored and so i asked if she could maybe be put into the next group because it was mind numbing for her well that lady couldn't be that wouldn't be having it she just was not interested in moving her up and so we we stopped and then we never never continued then we did the music thing and um well that didn't really work out so well either my daughter can play the flute but she hasn't really done much with it. And she was in the band and all. And our son uh, started them both out with piano. And the piano teacher pulled me aside and said, okay, your son knows more than what I'm telling him. I ask him a question. He can do what I ask him to do. He gets it. He's like, if you could just get him to practice, this kid would be great at this yeah well yeah you can guess how that went yep and he said no thank you mom it just wasn't worth it it was such a traumatic thing to get this kid to practice Now, I have a nephew that plays the guitar. I mean, like, you know, he just always wanted to do it, you know, so there wasn't the problem. Uh, my daughter's uh, one girlfriend in high school. I mean, this kid took her flute everywhere she went. She went on vacation. She took the flute. The kid loved it. I mean, you know, that's what you want. Okay, let's get this stuff out. Let's do... Let's do a stamp -a rooney there. And I don't necessarily want this to be, um, have to be a real clear, good impression. So I'm just going to ink it and go. If I can figure out where I, there's my ink. So I'm thinking I'm going to build a little cluster down here. I'm going to ink this here, put my roses there it's getting to be time for me to maybe get something to eat so let's see let's see what we can do here to just kind of and then i can post the finished oh look i had the arrow the right way it's a miracle it's a stamping miracle the boys in what piano drum and guitar i wish they would have continued okay so our daughter was really itching to start a a, a, yeah, a musical instrument okay so she was young and she really wanted to do something so the school that we were in the school district we were in they started the kids with the violin first don't ask me, but they did. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, they were kids. 
it was like really one of the best kid concerts I ever went to. The kids all did really well. She did really well. Um, so then the next year she said, well, now I want to play the flute. Oh, now I want to play the flute. And she was already, I think we had already started with the piano lessons. So I said, well, you don't want to stick with the violin? No, no, I want to do the flute. I'll probably fuss around with this a little bit too more, but I got to put some kind of a stamper. Oh, maybe I could. So we did the flute. She seemed to, she did well with that. She seemed to like it okay. So then the next year, she comes and she says, well, I want to try the clarinet. And I'm like, whoa, back up the truck there, kiddo. Nope, 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 nope. You're doing the piano. You've already done the violin. You can go back to the violin or you can stick with the flute. We're not adding, we're not adding another thing. So she, she stuck with the flute. I really wish she had stuck with the violin. Woo, it was so wonderful. I wonder how she would look with a little bit of writing across her face. Her little face. Now, you don't have to... Oh, that looks kind of cute. Do, 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 do. You don't have to go to all this nonsense here for a little, you know, envelope journal. But I just wanted to. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Do, do, do. And I kind of like, see how these are, you know, they're stitched on there, however they do it. And you've got this extra, you know, I could cut that off. But I kind of, I kind of like that on there. Oh, can you see? How does that look? I'm checking my phone to see how that looks because of the lag. The laggy draggy. Can you see? Yeah, there you can see her. I don't know if you could see this little, that little gal there. So that's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac for this. And I'm just going to put a little dot, I hope. A little dot. I cut the top of this. Oh, girls, look what I did. Oh, boogers. Look. Wah, wah, wah. Look. There's a piece folded under. I thought it was weird on the one side, but I thought maybe, I thought perhaps... I had cut it off. My old eyes didn't see it. Let's see if we can. Oh, that's going to be very gooey. I don't mind if that hangs off the edge either. Oh, now I've got it all over my fingers. See, I cut the top of that too wide. Can you see? So now it's like a whale's blowhole. It really is much too big. And I should have kept the cap from my old bottle, but I don't think I did. That would have been the wisest thing. Hmm, that might be okay. All right, so let's do a little cl cluster cluster bed. Let's do a little cluster bed. What did I have? Let's see. Okay, so Deb took flute in seventh grade. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, I was in like a summer program, and it was theater, and we always did a show, and I had it in my mind I was going to start an instrument and um we, my parents could not afford to get me an instrument i guess i wanted to do the flute or the clarinet and the only thing they had was a bass saxophone 
that they, that the school would lend me and it we, we didn't cost my parents anything right oh my gosh i got dizzy i couldn't even i couldn't even um Oh, I didn't have enough air. It, that didn't last long, but we were not walkers. So we would get the bus and I had, so it was a great big case and it was a day for um, my lesson and I had to take my instrument and I'm running to the bus stop and I'm carrying this case and I'm late, it's pouring down rain. Oh my gosh, it was, it was a nightmare. Needless to say, Yeah, if they had a, an a instrument available, our school, it didn't cost you anything. You could have it for free. For free. All right, so now I have a little piece of this I'm wanting. Let's see if I can trim this somewhere. You're straight. And then I did pull out a piece of what I do with that? A little piece of. Oh my goodness, it's pouring rain here. The sun is gone. And it's pouring. Yeah, I was thinking of a, of a whale. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Yee -yee. Sorry. Sorry, kids. All right, so I'm going to put that there. And I'm hoping I can find my little bit of... Um, maybe it hit the floor... Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, here it is. Gosh, we may need a boat. Now you know I'm going to need a button. Let's see if I can get to my buttons. Really, I've got everything stacked and layered. That's a little too bright. Hey, if I disappear, you know, it was the rain and the electric, you know, because I think my lights just kind of flickered a little bit. So if I go, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. And that's a little... A little um a little on the gray side. Where do I have oh I just got a, a little order of buttons and I put them in a little tin. Uh, oh there it is. Maybe I can find something in there. Some of these buttons are really cute. I mean some of them are just, you know buttons you can buy now but some of them I think are what we would call vintage Look how fun are they? I never saw buttons like that before. Mm. That's where I got the purple button that I'm going to put on my... Oh, look at that little wooden star. That might work. I don't want a gingerbread man.
look at this one. Is this one too big? This one has a, like an overstuffed chair. Mm. I'm one of those people, you know, you try a couple of different things. Oh, look, this even has a thread in it. Whoop, whoop. Not sure I'm loving the star, but that sure would be easy. That would be easy. I'm like, well, I'll know it when I see it. Oh, this might be it. This might be it. It's a little plastic gold rose because it kind of ties. Yep. All right, we're done with that. Lovely. Yes, I love to have thread through me buttons. Now, the tricky thing is, that's plastic, so it should be evil, easy to snip off that little... Oh, lovely. Lovely! Did it. Oh, girls. Don't you just love when a plan comes together? All right, I'm just using hot glue. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. A little bit of that. That should be really a little more... Um, A little, well, I better put it down here instead of on the button. Spare my fingers. All right. I'm not sure that I like that old blank up there, but maybe I can put in a taller piece of um, paper. Take up, take up some of that. I might like that a little better. Something like that, you know? You know? Oh, evergreen. So now I've got a pocket on each side, okay? And then I can put pages in the center. And of course, I can add pockets or do other things here. And you could trim these off. Tuck them in. You could use them as a wraparound. You know, I could score that and, uh, you know, so it, it will take the thickness. So let's just see what we have in the way of our pages here now that we're, we're here. These, these are just about dry. But what did I do? Oh, that's right. They fell. Hold, please. that in a long time. Before I started streaming this morning, I had in my head, and I was singing it yesterday, it was, it's the um, Paul McCartney one. In a little while from now, if I'm not feeling any less sour, I'll myself and treat myself to visit a nearby tower. Upon climbing to the top, hi Judy, I shall turn myself off in an effort to make it clear to who what it's like when you're shattered and standing in the lurch of a church where people are saying, my God, that's tough. She stood him up, no point in us remaining. May as well go home. I didn't know the and then I was trying to think of the other verse about his mother. Could not stand for the only man. Oh, something about her. You know. 
Something like that. Barbie knows the words. Barbie knows the words. So that's what I had in my head yesterday. Why? Why? I don't listen to the radio anymore, okay? If I'm in the car, I'm usually not listening to the radio. I'm okay with silence. I really am. But when I was a younger woman working in the car, you know, a lot more than I am now, I would listen to Golden Oldies. But at home, I don't. I'm usually listening to a stream or, you know. So it's not like I heard something that caused me to think, like, where where do they come from is my question. Where do they come from? The songs that are in my head, where do they come from? Oh, now the sun's out. Oh, I bet I could see a rainbow. I love a rainbow. All right, these are taking a little longer to dry, and I just don't want to fold them. They're not dry. But especially for those who may have never made or built a journal before, this is an easy way to do one. You certainly could stitch your binding on it rather than using the glue. I'm going to stitch my pages in, and you can hand stitch it. I don't have to have a machine. Now I've got to be able to, I want to get those um, little rumples of paper I dropped on the floor. I don't know if I can dry those enough for you to see. Of course, they're not going to be ironed, but I will iron them before I put them in my book. I hope these turned out where you can see. It's like a marbling. Alone again, yes. Yes, she's got it. Why, George, I think she's got it. Let's see. Now, when I've done this before, what I like to do is not let it dry totally. I found with the paper that I used, if I left it dry totally and then tried to open it, um, a lot of times the paper tore. So if you open it when it's damp and then take it to your iron, your, iron, your hot dry iron, and you iron that, oh man, it just does, it just that steam and it just, oh man, it just turns out really cool. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's like really cool. And of course, if you do ink, you know, it turns out even better. But for this book, I wanted, you know, the coffee dyed look to it. So these are, of course, way too damp to, to fold. So I'm going to go iron these after I get a little nourishment. And you know, this one's pretty dry. These these I have to iron. So I painted one, okay. And some I just stripped and spritzed and these are all pretty good. But there again, I want them to be, what did I say, 10 inches by five and a half? This is my template. I think I'm going to put this in the middle. And I'm going to over, do the overlapping so these I can fold. Let me see if I can get a couple. See how difficult. I guess I could put it on a scoreboard. Wouldn't that be brilliant? Oh my, it would be so brill. All right, so I'm just going to use this tape I have here. I should have used old ugly tape for this because what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave those pages, you know, kind of be flap free, if you will, just folding it in half. Of course, you can offset if you have room in your book. You don't have to, you know, put your pages in.
Let's see when I stitch that down the middle. See, then I'll have this little, have this little floppy, a little floppy. So this is what I'm thinking. All right. So. And I could have looked for paper that would have worked, but you know what? <sighs> Did I tell you I don't like to clean? Oh, look, that one tore. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm just going to tape that on there. I love this tape. I love this tape. Oh, you're welcome, Dev. Have a good one. Have a good one. Um, bum, 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 bum. This is handy, so I'm just gonna just gonna take another piece and and I'll probably get my bone folder out too and really cr crease those really well. So it's not going to have a lot of pages. And then do I have another? Yeah. This one's not dry. And then I have my wrinkly ones. Okay. So while I'm working on this and finishing this up, it's Sunday. So hopefully Maridel, the Marriottier, will be on later. This evening. I think the other girls were already on earlier. And uh, Tanya comes on Sunday, but she's, she's vacationing. So I don't think she'll be, she'll be on. And I am in a group with a group of ladies. Um, oh. Hashtag second Saturday. Oh, Maria just sent me a, a reminder. Second Saturday. I'm going to try to remember to put it in my description box. I'm terrible with the description box thing. Terrible. My channel would do a lot better, I'm sure, if I would pay attention to those things. I'm all about fussing around and doing this stuff, you know, none, none of the technical stuff, you know, like, you know, the cleaning. Cleaning. And what we're doing is we have set a list of seven items from one of the ladies in the group, and we do a project with those items. And it's stuff from your stash. It's a slash or stash thing. So that will be this Saturday. It will go live around, uh, I believe, 12 noon central. Okay, so this is our decorated envelope journal. I will stitch my pages in. And then once I stitch those in, see, this will come off and I'll have like little flappy things. Little flappies. That I can either stick things to, make a pocket. I can make a pocket, another pocket, right? I mean, come on. How cute is that, all right? Most of us probably have some envelopes. It doesn't have to be this size, right? And then you've got the pocket. I mean, there are different types of pocket envelope journals you can do, too. Like I showed early on. Where you can um, stick them inside of each other and then make a couple little flappers. A couple little flappers. Let's see. So we spritzed this one and did like a spatter. So you can do, do them like this too. So you just get your glue in there and you slide them inside themselves. 
and glue it down. And there's a way to do it where you get um, see like if you glued it that way see and you can put pages in there too right so you have a pocket here a pocket here if you do it right then you have a pocket here a pocket here see and then this comes around and you glue that on the back and you can decorate and of course you can put pages in there pages in there envelopes are fun i love i love love envelopes okay just add it to the list of things i love so we spattered those what else did we do oh the girls had me make marks so here's some we use some circles this was the square of a little um half pan for watercolor this was a brush on my that was a, my uh, scraper thing this was my um, the end of my scissor holder. So, I mean, that turned out kind of cool, right? And then we just painted some. Let's see what, oh, that's stamping we did up there. What else did we do? I coffee stained this piece of sheet, right? You see, so that would make the cute edge to a to one right if you any kind of funky fabric you know really look fun right and then uh, we coffee stained this this one's still really wet but how cool would that look on one like especially if we did it like we did the one today You know, and you were putting this together like this. That's cool because that would be down the spine. That's cool looking. Can you see that? So if you have like, if you find in a thrift shop any of these old pillowcases or anything that has any kind of you know work like this they're fun you can use them for the edges of your pages oh what can i tell you then we try the stencil and that was you know that wasn't too bad a little runny but something different looks very organic right organic and uh, you could put garden pages in this one which i just might do and then we did, oh, there's another page for my book. I forgot about that guy. Then I just painted some of, some um, really kind of like an off-white color. These are still damp. So these need some, these need some attention. Didn't take the uh, coffee dye all that great. But we experimented. So you don't know until you try, right? And then see if you get a tear like that. There's just a little tiny tear there. You can make that tape and put that on there. And then it looks like a million bucks. You know, it looks like you, looks like you planned it. Yeah, right. Scrap joy. And then you can take little pieces of fiber or whatever and just, oh, it's endless, right? But oh, so much fun. All right, ladies, I'm out. I'm going to grab some lunch, if you will. Have a good day. And um, I don't know if I'm missing somebody else who's on. It's, it's really not intentional. But I know Mary will come, come on this afternoon. I'm pretty sure she'll be on unless, you know, she's got some issues with her uh, equipment. And um, I think uh, PM, what's the PM Studios? I think they were on earlier. I don't know if Carol was on today. I didn't see her. I could have missed her. I know she was on early yesterday. She usually comes on early Sundays as well. But thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it so much. And um, if you think of it, check my channel around the 9th. If you if you haven't subscribed, you can do that. You can get a notification. 
because uh, we've got that uh, hashtag second Saturday stash slash seven. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And um, that's fun, too. Oh, there's Bethy. You're welcome, Beth. Thanks for being here. All right, girls. I want to thank Barbara and Peggy popped in. Thanks, ladies, for modding for me. I appreciate that so much, too. All right. Have a good one, ladies, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.